It's time now to go inside innovation, brought to you by Allegiant Pioneering Safety. Well, Indianapolis-based startup Mandolin just launched in March, and already it's raised $5 million in a seed round to grow its digital platform to help artists, venues, and fans all over the country connect through live music. With more on the concept and several unique partnerships at uh, Fueling Growth, pleased to be joined by Megan York. Megan is Chief Marketing Officer at Mandolin. Megan, uh, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, it's, I think, a fascinating story and, and really that uh, a fusion, if you will, as you and I were talking a moment ago off camera, of technology and music, and it's all happening. Uh, it's all coming together right here in Indianapolis. Talk about how Mandolin really came about, because it really did address what was one of the real effects on the music industry from the pandemic. Yeah, you're exactly right. You know, the pandemic has really sort of decimated the music industry, and um, our co-founders thought saw a really, really great opportunity to be able to bring live music back into fans' homes. Um, you know, nothing connects us like music does, and I'm a huge live music fan myself, so during the pandemic, you know, I was really missing that. So, you know, we're, we're, we're bringing live music back to people, and then we're also giving, you know, artists and venues that have really been hit economically by the pande pandemic the opportunity to uh, perform again and, and sell tickets again and, and prosper from their art. So it's, it's very exciting to be doing that uh, here in Indianapolis. Yeah, give us a, a kind of a thumbnail a, a sketch of the business model, Megan, of, of how it works and how it competes. You know, there's a lot of free content out there, but I think uh, Mandolin offers kind of a unique experience that really is attracting uh, folks. Yeah, yeah, it really does. So, I mean, if you'll remember when the pandemic started, there were a lot of artists streaming from you know, on free services from their living room or couch or things like that, which of course, you know, we all appreciated. Um, but mandolin really is, um, you know, kind of taking that live ex live music experience to the next level. So high production value, getting these artists back into the studio or back on stage. Um, our clients are really the artists and their teams and the venues. So we work with all of them to, to uh, you know, plan the show, plan the content, market the show, ticket the show, um, all of those things, and then, uh, you know, facilitate them with the fans streaming the show and um, giving them, them, them access to it. Mandolin certainly has been on fire since uh, launching in March. I uh, mentioned the $5 million uh, seed founding run, uh, uh, round. You're also in venues from the Vogue here in Indianapolis to places like the Ryman Auditorium, really high profile uh, in Nashville and beyond. So you really, your footprint is really extending. Yeah, it really is. Um, very excited, like you said, to be working with a lot of the venues here locally. Um, the Ryman was a great, great win for us. They had um, limited capacity seating for shows, um, and then they wanted to open those shows up to you know thousands of additional people that they couldn't have in the venue. So we've been streaming shows from there. Um, we've been streaming shows from the city wineries um, all over the country, yeah. and um, you know the, the shows that they have outside with limited capacity as well. And then some really great artists like Jude and the Lion and Drew Holcomb. Um, yeah, it's, it's really yep. exciting. Okay, Megan, big event coming up, uh, election day uh, throughout the day, November 3, hashtag I voted uh, festival. Talk about this. You've got hundreds of art artists lined up. We do. It was it's, the I voted festival was a really, really huge opportunity for us and, and obviously a really great cause. So. Um, the hashtag I voted festival, you know, started many years ago, uh, trying to get people to come out and vote. So if people could prove that they, you know, voted, then they were able to go to a free concert at, at venues. Um, and then they just determined that they wanted to take that festival digital this year. And we were chosen as the platform. So it's going to be the largest digital festival that's ever been held, 600 artists. Um, the artists were chosen because of their popularity or their you know, following in some of the key swing states. So, and, and the premise is still the same. You, you know, you take a selfie with your ballot or at the polling station, or, you know, yep. whatever is legal in your particular state, um, and then submit that. And when you submit your selfie showing that you, um, you know, that you voted, you get okay. access to the free festival. And like I said, 600 artists. Big, big event coming up uh, Tuesday. Megan York uh, from Mandolin. 50 employees already at the company uh, as well. Another high alpha company uh, achieving some great success. Megan, thanks for the time. Good luck with the event uh, in the week ahead, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much. Okay.